Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to view GPU graphics processing unit statistics on an ESXi and vCenter server. OK, so in our live demo environment, we we are using VMware ESXi and vCenter, and we are also using Havlet Packet Enterprise HPE server, DL server, and we are using NVIDIA GPU A100 40 GB memory model. OK, so let's log into our vSphere environment first. So once we log into the vCenter server using vSphere client, and if you want to view our GPU statistics, we can select the ESXi host. Normally, if we want to view CPU, memory, disk, and NIC performance, how we can view, select the ESX, right side, go to the monitor, and under the monitor, we have an option to performance overview. And similarly, we can also have an option to view the performance of advanced performance. So when you select the advanced performance, by default, there are option to view CPU usage in by default. And similarly, we can view the usage per data store, memory, disk, network, power, storage adapter, storage path, system, and vSphere replication. These are all the default metrics to view the our advanced performance. But our scenario is how to view GPU statistics. When it comes to the GPU statistics, under the same section, advanced performance section, you can click on chart options. When we click on chart options, we can see all the chart options are available, CPU cluster, and along with all these metrics, we can also see the option for GPU. So for this graphics processing unit also, we have main performance counters. These counters are starting with memory usage. We can see the average and the units are percentage and similarly memory used and it is the units are in a kilobytes and also the temperature. Uh, it's a degree centigrade and also the utilization is in a percentage. These all options are for counters are available, performance counters. Suppose if I want to verify the usage, select this metric. Okay, and in the right side, you can see the target objects. We have a two GPUs in our vCenter environment. So these two devices you can see. You can verify for two devices at a time, or you can select one GPU device, click on OK, and you can see the utilization. In the C in the advanced perform, you can see GPU and it is showing the date and also the current real-time usage. You can see when you select here, you can see the lined graph. And even if you want to change the graph type from line graph to stack graph also, you can change, okay? And even if you want to see the graph for both GPU process, select the both process and click on okay. When you click on okay, we can see the memory usage for both GPU processor. When you select both, say we can see one GPU processor is in a gray color and another GPU processor in a purple color. So both are available. Similarly, the other performance counters, if you want to see, you can select, but if you want to select multiple performance counters, sometime it may show, sometime it may show you the error message. So you can see the error message. You can only select one distinct unit at a time for the stacked chart. So we can uncheck the memory usage. We can see the memory used average. Okay, so this unit is also amount of GPU memory used in kilobytes. So now just click on OK. We can see the memory used average kilobytes units for both processor. Okay, one processor gray color, one processor purple color. Okay, similar way for other two metrics also. Let's quickly select the temperature, click on OK. We can see the temperature units also. Okay, and the same way for other one also. This is how we can view the statistics, even the utilization also we can see. Utilization, when I select here, we can see the utilization is in a, uh, currently it's in not much utilizing, it's in the ideal state. Okay, so let's back to our slide. And let's, uh, another point is, whatever we discussed, I just uh, provided the description here. We can view the detailed information for ESXi host graphics card, that means GPU, and we can see GPU temperature, GPU utilization, and GPU memory usage. So these options only we can verify in our lab. So if you see GPU temperature, utilization, memory usage, and memory utilization also we have, the only the units are different. Usage we can see in a 
percentages and kilobytes temperature utilization these points only i highlighted in the slide okay and the procedure also how we verified is we log into vSphere client and using the vSphere client we can connect to vCenter server navigate it to the ESXi host and click on monitor tab performance even we selected the host and we can write pan we can go to the monitor advanced so same point i highlighted in our notes okay and select gpu from the drop down menu or you can use chart options so we selected the chart options and one key point here is note these statistics are only displayed when the gpu driver is installed on ESXi host so gpu driver must be installed to view our gpu statistics okay so to view our gpu driver is installed or not log into our esxi host and we can see from the configure tab and under the hardware we can see this gpu device id vendor name if we are reflecting with the vendor name means driver is installed another method to verify the driver information connect to the esxi host using ssh session and type the command nvidia hyphen system management interface so in short form nvidia hyphen sm I. So when you type NVIDIA iPhone SMI, it will provide you the full information of all the details. So within the NVIDIA NMI, when we type this command, it will show you the information of how many GPUs are connected and it will provide you the driver information. This is the driver NVIDIA SMI driver version. Okay. So this point only I highlighted. GPU driver is installed on the ESXi host in order to get statistics information. Suppose if any of our customer have an issue with unable to view the GPU statistics. So during the troubleshooting, we should validate that whether the GPU driver is installed or not. If it is not installed, we have to install using the ESX CLI command and download the GPU driver from the NVIDIA website and install it. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.